There he is. There's a fight. All right. Nice bass. Had to wake him up with a big old chatterbait. Come here, buddy. Cool. It's a nice fish. Big ounce and a quarter jackhammer. Cool. All right. Hopefully you got some buddies. I've. Uh, it's kind of cool. I'm just poking around. It's late fall, and the fish are consolidated. The largemouth get grouped up, and there's some rock here, rock weed transition, and the fish weren't where I thought, so I kind of came out a little deeper. And the three quarter ounce bait was not doing the trick, but it's ounce and a quarter. I don't hear a lot about it, but man, is it a great bait. If you want to just slow roll and keep it on the bottom. The water's cold, it's in the low 40s. Yeah, one of the real keys, most days when it gets this cold, is fishing slow, slow. Sometimes you want a fast fall to get a reaction bite, but day in and day out, you kind of got it. You want to slow roll it, whether it's a spinner bait or a chatter bait, or sometimes even waiting a crank bait. And, but a jerk bait's another great bait, but there's a chatter bait. <laughs> Every day you're fishing for bass, you want a chatter bait on your deck, whether it's a 3 8 or an ounce and a quarter. Fish always seem to bite them. And one of the cool new revelations with chatter baits in general and vibrating jigs is the trailer. There's a variety of different trailers. You can put boot tails and minnow looking trailers, but one of the cool new things going on are these straight tail trailers, which help the bait. It, it takes the keel away from the bait, so it hunts more, which just like crankbaits, the more it hunts, it seems that erratic action triggers a lot more bites. So that's, that's what I've got here. And I'm trying to just keep this thing close to bottom, bumping bottom here and there and slow rolling it. And as it hits cover, whether it's grass or rock or wood or whatever, um, that's often when you're gonna get a bite, just like a crankbait. It's an area like this where I am trying to keep it low, keep it on the bottom. We can kind of yo-yo it, but slow rolling it, contacting some cover down there is key. And this straight tail trailer, the freeloader in particular, just, just allows that bait to stay deeper. Anything with more of a wider belly or more of a, a kicking action is gonna help, is gonna keep that bait um, higher in the water, which at times you want that. So you wanna be able to, you wanna have a variety of trailers, but if you want it, Maximizing the hunt and keeping it down, the straight tail without any resistance in the back is the, is the deal, if you will. And it's cool. And you can see it in underwater video, how the trailer does impact the chatterbait in a very, very big way. Got him. There he is. Nice. Fit it on the fall, huh? Nice. That's cool, they're kind of following the script here. Starting to move up a little bit shallower. Oh! <laughs> oh well. And switch to a three quarter, just matching that. You wanna, you don't wanna overdo it with the weight, you know, but that was cool. And like, you will get a lot of bites on the fall with chatter baits. So you wanna watch your line and pay attention. There he is. Oh, that was fun. He clobbered it. <laughs> oh, it feels like a nice one, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, real nice one. Sweet. That's cool. This time of the year in the fall, fish get really grouped up. So, having a, getting a couple bites like that, that is a good sign. Wow, that's a really nice fish. Woo! The cold water brings out their colors sometimes too. Look at that. What a beautiful fish. He choked it. Oh man, that's awesome. 
You know, as the water was this temperature, there's not all that many baits that they'll bite, you know? Depends on the day, if they get fired up and get active, but a lot of times when it's in the low 40s, hard to beat this guy though, day in and day out. Hot or cold water. <laughs> but matching the trailer is key. All right, see you, buddy. Yes, sir. Just gonna... In late fall, the fish are not everywhere. There's a lot of fish in a few places, so you really need to make sure you get, find that right zone that they're in. And it should be cast after cast, but I'm getting close, getting close to that. There he is. Just let the rod load up. Nice. It's one of the coolest things about, I mean, this style of bait is the fact, the, the versatility of a vibrating jig. You can go skip it under docks. You can throw it around wood, throw it through all sorts of grass, then come out and fish it on rock. And it's just super efficient way to catch, find fish and catch them. Boom. I prefer to run just a run of the mill average, like a 6.8 to one reel. Um, I think you could slow it down even with a slower reel if you wanted to, kind of like forcing yourself to fish slow with the crankbaits or chatterbaits are the same, same type of deal. So that's, um, I don't, I, I, uh, I don't find myself burning them, you know, with like a, an eight point whatever, 8.1 to one or anything like that. I, I like to keep it slow. There it is. <laughs> I think I found him. <laughs> Not a big one. One of the other elements with this system, like I mentioned, is having a, a rod with a softer tip. I personally like a nice long rod, seven, three, seven and a half, um, fluorocarbon. Really, a couple different rods has you pretty well covered for throwing these types of baits in any sort of condition year round, from east to west, north to south. It's, it's a bait you gotta have tied on and on your deck every day.